And what can I show the monkey? No! Hello, this is Mr. Goyette with National University Academy. Uh, today we're going to talk about reptiles and get into mammals just a little bit. Uh, last week we talked about invertebrates. The week before that we, we uh, did our introduction on plants. So we're moving through things pretty quickly. Um, this here is, according to my mom, this is Cayenne. He has several names. Uh, Will she calls has him. several she names. Has she has several names. I call her Bert. This is Bert, which is really not a girl's name, but that's okay. I call her Flash. And, and I call her Speedy Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez, okay. Who knows not a mouse? So this is a California desert tortoise. Uh, these tortoises uh, can be found in um, uh, the Sonora Desert. It's uh, the class is Reptilia. The order is Chelonia. The family is tes, uh, Testudinidae. And the genus is Gophrus, and the species is Agassizi. Um, you can find these in uh, deserts. The thing about them, though, or is pet you stores. Or pet stores. <laughs> you don't want to take them out of their natural environment because their numbers are being depleted rapidly, and it is illegal to uh, poach get them. To get them, yeah, get them out of the wild, or as Will just referred, poach. Uh, take them a low break, as we know. Craigslist. So, Craigslist. Um, Trey's going to explain a little bit about his corn snake. Jake the Snake. Or Jake. Hello, my name is Tremaine. You may have seen me in previous videos as the coolest biolo biology instructor in the world. This is Jake the Snake, aka Jake and Bake. And he is about two years old, corn snake. He's a part of the, um, his class is the Reptilia. Order is Squamata. Suborder is the Serpents. And his family. Not his mom and dad, but family is Colobride, and genus is Alephae. Ele Alephae? That one's a little bit hard. And his species is Alephae gotata. And Ooh, it's Latin. Yeah, it is Latin. Yeah. And um, that's Jake the snake. Jake. Okay, so we're gonna talk a little bit about um. Uh, Biology B Unit 6, go over some information you'll see, you'll need to know for your quizzes as well as your discussions as you're going through the unit this week. Um, so please take notes as you uh, go through, as you're watching this, and uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call, email, or Skype. Throw Tremaine, rocks. were you going to start off with? Uh, I'm starting off with 1 through 3. He's going to start off with 1 through 3. Tremaine's going to take it up from here. Thank you, Mr. G. Um, beginning with 1. Jaws probably evolved from gill arches of jawless fishes. You can find this on page 715. And birds, dinosaurs, and mammals evolved from reptiles. And that is shown on page 721. And here, number three, we have the direction of water flow. Through gills. Through gills, as you can see. I think that's an error. But the reason that's up there is the question on f for number three is uh, uh, what does this diagram represent? You can review that um, in the section on fish fishes in uh, uh, chapter 34. Okay. Will, take this away, buddy. Okay. Endotherms, Will. What about what do we need to know about endotherms? They consume ten times as much food. You can find that on page ten times. Number five, order of cats and dogs is carnivora. You can find that on page uh, 813. Number six, pulmonary, uh, are for like the lungs and heart. So the pulmonary arteries carry uh, carry blood from the lungs to the heart. You'll need to remember that it's um, taking the unoxygenated blood or the oxygenated blood to the heart, and that'll pump all the oxygen out to your muscles and the rest of your organs. Okay. Number seven. This is Mr. G's job, but I'm going to fill in for him. Reptiles breathe by changing the air pressures in the thorax. Page 776. Seven, what he said, 776. Bird's heart has four chambers, right, left, or no. at, atrium. atrium, atrium, and the right, left, ve um, ventrum ventricle. Messed up a little bit. So a bird's heart has four chambers, the right and left atrium, and the tortoise is peeing. The uh, tortoise is and peeing. And the right and left ventricle. 
That is true. And then the, uh, let's see. Ah. That's why you never work with animals. <laughs> <laughs> the, number nine, large feet for flightless birds. Uh, Christian, can you go back to the other classroom? I have a bunch of paper towels there. Can you grab those? Because I need to clean that up. Um, so for to keep this going here and finish out as the, t as the tortoise relieves himself or herself, um, you'll be a large feeder for um, flightless birds because they, they need to have that support on land. Like the emu and the ostrich? And Good examples. Or penguin. Uh, and penguin then for feet of somewhat large. Pretty large. And the placenta, you'll remember that they, it carries or carries. The placenta will carry nutrition uh, and removes wastes from the embryo during uh, development. That's on page on 810. And um, so that's it. That's review it. one through ten. I'm just going to read the last few. We still have a few minutes here. Oh. <laughs> um, what did Christian? Brenda oh. just found out okay. that the tortoise is peeing. <laughs> She's uh, amazed by this. You should point it down on the ground. Yeah. Did you find him? Oh. I didn't, I didn't get to. Get Why is part. it white? How, it, per, turtles don't pee yellow. No, it's clear because it gets all it, it's getting all of its nutrients from the lettuce and fruits that it's Are eating, the grasses. So Christian? just yeah, just check that on there. Don't touch it with your hands. I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah. Okay, so let's finish up. I still it. have a few more to do, guys. So hold a on a second. More. In amphibians, um, gases are exchanged through lungs, uh, breathing through the skin, and also uh, air also goes through the skin. Um, ectothermic animals absorb heat from their environment. You'll want to remember that on page 773. You'll have to review a picture of uh, the turtle, and that's on page 782. And you want to note that the, uh, the pectoral um, girdle is labeled, it's, number, it's letter A. Uh, the primary component of the claws, fingernails, hooves, and hair, hair that we have on our heads here, um, fingernails, um, is all made of keratin. And that's true for the zebra's foot that you're going to see on page 811. Uh, if, you, if any of you have horses, um, the people often ask, well, does it hurt the horse when they put the horseshoe on the horse's foot, well, that's actually going into a substance that's a little bit like your fingernail. So it, it, it can get, the pressure can irritate the horse, but for the most part, it doesn't hurt them in a way because it's not actually going into their flesh. It's going into the keratin. No horse is damaged. Reptiles are um, ectothermic, page 773. You'll want to review that. And that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'm going to clean up the mess here that the tortoise has made. And thank you for tuning in. Christian, would you like to say a few words before we go? Yeah, sure. Put you on the spot like that. Yeah, far away. What did you learn from this unit? I learned that jaws probably evolved from Dino's archers. That's pretty um, cool. Of jawless fishes. Yeah, from jawless fishes. That's fishes that have no teeth. Jake, you want to say goodbye to everybody? I told him that earlier in the video. Jake, say goodbye. Goodbye, Bye. everybody. You want to see? Uh, Do you want to see? Try some. Rather wet tortoise. Here you go. Bye. It took See a, you next time. Took a whiz. They're buddies. Yeah.